Hindustan Aeronautics has showcased its CATS program at the Aero India 2021, in which a new air-launched low-observable high-precision standoff cruise missile named as the CATS Hunter has been displayed for the first time. The 600 kg CATS Hunter will be powered by a turbojet engine, and will have a range of more than 200 km, and it will feature a 250 kg warhead, that will be used against ground and naval targets. The CATS Hunter will be equipped with a new generation navigation system and will initially be integrated with Tejas Mark I A Mirage 2000 and Su-30 fighter jets, and later on the medium-weight fighter, twin-engine deck-based fighter and the 5.5 generation AMCA stealth fighter jet. The CATS Warrior unmanned wingman displayed at the air show also features two side internal weapons bay, that can carry two saw precision guided anti-air field system, and will fly alongside manned fighter jets, while future variants will be able to carry beyond visual range air-to-air -air missiles. The scale model of the twin-engine deck-based fighter shows some new design changes, which includes leading edge extensions, which is a small extension to the frontal fuselage boundary, and helps to increase the stall angle of a wing. To provide a more uniform pressure, 3D bumps have also been introduced near DSI intakes. It will also share the stealth-optimized radom frontal section like the AMCA, which will bring the twin-engine deck-based fighter closer to the fifth generation. It will feature a fixed upper fuselage fuel tank on either side of its central spine, that will increase its range and decrease drag, and reduce the overall signature of the fighter jet. The Indian Air Force and New Space Research and Technologies are exploring advanced artificial intelligence air combat algorithms under a program called ACID, that will support the manned-unmanned teaming operations in contested airspace in the future. Hindustan Aeronautics has also developed a full-function multi-scenario manned-unmanned teaming-based CAT simulator, that explores the complex command interfaces required for air teaming tactics. US and Indian officials held discussion on the F-15EX program, and after the approval of export license of F-15EX fighter jets to India, the Air Forces of India and US have now exchanged information about the fighter jet. There are also reports that the first F-15EX built for the US Air Force will conduct its first flight today, and the F-15EX would also be exhibited at the Aero India 2021. Top officials have said, that the Super Shukhoi upgrade program for Su-30 fighter jets is under negotiation with Russia, and after considering the huge cost and time required to upgrade more than 200 fighters, the Indian Air Force has decided to go for these capability upgrades in phases. They also said, that some of the most critical upgrades would be taken up in the first phase, while some of the modifications that were planned to be pursued locally have already started. The Indian Army had issued request for information for 198 wheeled armoured personnel carriers for reconnaissance and support role at the western border, for which Russia's Rostec Corporation will demonstrate the export versions of the K-16 armoured personnel carrier and the K-17 infantry fighting vehicle that are based on the advanced boomerang wheeled platform. The K-16 is equipped with a combat module, and comes equipped with a 30mm automatic gun, a 7.62mm machine gun, and the 10km range Connet anti-tank missile system. The Council for Scientific and Industrial Research has developed three innovative mob control vehicles in compact medium and heavy category with a capacity of 2.5 tons to 7.5 tons, that will provide modern technical support to paramilitary forces in maintaining internal security operations. Israeli Aerospace Industries has announced the sale of Heroploid ring munitions worth $100 million to two different Asian nations, one for the naval version and another for the land version. India had recently announced the purchase of additional units under a follow-on option clause, and chances are that the maritime variant are for the Indian Navy. 
India and US are all set to start a major combat exercise next week. That will be the first such bilateral exercise after the Biden administration took charge in Washington. The exercise will be held 80 kilometers from the Pakistan border on the 8th of February to the 21st of February, and the US contingent will include a brigade headquarters and a battalion group of around 250 soldiers from a striker brigade combat team, while India will field an infantry brigade headquarters and a battalion group from the JNK Light Infantry. The managing director of MIG Corporation has said that a nonlinear correcting device has been developed that will resolve the issue of pilot-induced oscillations, which appear during maneuvering at high speeds, and it will make the pilot's job easier in extreme situations. A second technical change now provides improved reaction time in complicated situations, and it is possible that this technical improvements might find its way in the 21 additional MiG-29 fighter jets ordered by India. Oh,